Hi, Shabir. Thank you so much for coming to Biz Talk. How are you? Hi, Max. I'm very well. How are you doing? Uh, thank you for the invite to Biz Talk. Thanks to you for coming. All good on my side. Uh, before talking about Cook My Grab, shall we give an introduction to yourself? Uh, yeah, sure. So I'm, I'm Shabir Mukhtiar. I uh, am a software engineer by trade, but over the years, uh, in the last 17, 18 years, I've basically gone through the various ranks. And most recently, I was engineering manager before I started Cook My Grub with my co-founder, Dinesh. Um, I, uh, I love technology. I love food as well. So that's why uh, I you know, sort of founded Cook My Grub, which is a food delivery app. And basically, that's where my passion for technology and food comes together. Um, I'll talk a bit more about uh, Cook My Grub shortly. But uh, in, a, in a nutshell, Cook My Grub is basically an online platform which enables anyone who has a passion for cooking great food to start their own food business and be able to sell to customers while following safe food hygiene, allergy awareness, and local regulations in, in their business. Uh, for customers, it gives them an option to find the most authentic, freshly made home cooked food as if they were made it themselves at their own home. So uh, it's basically for busy professional people who like certain cuisines but don't know how to cook it or don't have don't have the time to cook it. And our platform helps them find that. So let's walk to the, to the deck so we can give more details. So on feature on the deck, uh, you can see some of our home chefs. Uh, the one in the middle, Vidya, she's one of our top home chefs. Uh, Megan and Yoon on either side are also extremely successful home chefs. Uh, so really, as a platform, we are built to enable uh, people who would like to start a small food business or who've already started a food business, give them a platform that they can either launch or scale their business. The problems with the way things are working right now is uh, most home chefs use either Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Facebook groups, et cetera, to advertise their business. And then in terms of order management, everything is done manually. Ultimately, when the customer, the customer has to go and drive to them or walk up to the chef, collect the food, and then pay in cash, et cetera. So it's quite a clunky journey and the entire segment was very disorganized. So what we've tried to do with Cook My Grub is, first and foremost, use modern technology to modernize this segment, organize this segment, provide the right uh, trainings and food safety regulation help to the home chefs and to the customers, provide a convenient way through an app or through an e-commerce capable website, the ability to order fresh home cooked food and it gets delivered to them as well. So really Cook My Grab uh, is there as a platform equipping home cooked food businesses to start their business and then ultimately they decide when, what, and how much they would like to cook. So if it means certain chefs can only cook at lunchtime, that's what they cook. If others can only cook at dinner time, that's the time they cook at. Um, it's an easy, secure platform using industry best practices, convenient ways to pay using Apple Pay, Google Pay, etc. as well, and benefits from an end-to-end -end delivery service. So making it you know, very hassle-free for the customer ultimately. Uh, so what's the value proposition of the platform? So from the chef's perspective, really it gives them that compliance auditing, business training, which they wouldn't have been able to uh, do quite easily for themselves. It provides them an e-commerce platform where they can showcase their menus. And from our chef support team, they get the right support to create their menus, to uh, manage the customer, et cetera, without them having to cook on one side and handle customer calls on the other side. From a customer's perspective, they get the ability to order from a trusted supplier, someone who has already got few reviews so they can see what other people think of that chef. And equally, if they'd like to change their order, cancel their order, or would like some modifications to it, reschedule, they have an easy, convenient customer service to talk to who make the entire journey very smooth. All of it underpinned by the fact that customers don't want to go and collect food themselves. They would like the food delivered to them now 
So we've got a delivery service which enables that as well. Uh, the UK is a big market, you know, it's projected, uh, funny enough, we ran these figures uh, when we started the company and this number was only about 17 billion then. Since COVID and with the growth of uh, food delivery apps, this number is now ballooned to 30 billion, basically. So it's a huge market. And even if we get a small percentage of it, you know, we're talking hundreds of millions in terms of addressable market. Um, so the big difference between us and some of the larger players whom you might be well aware of is uh, all of the food on Cook My Grub has to be pre-ordered. So you have a cutoff time in order to order food, whether it's for the same day or for the next day. Uh, if you don't place an order by that cutoff time, then there's the next delivery window, which may be a day later. So it's all scheduled pre-ordered deliveries. Uh, more recently, the food arrives, uh, food can be delivered nationwide anywhere. It arrives in a cooler box with ice packs and basically, again, you know, very convenient to the customer. There are some other players who have come up in this space as well. And uh, for us, that's very encouraging because it validates that what we're on to is something quite unique and more people will come into this space. We are very fortunate to be the leaders in this space at the moment. Uh, so really our vision is to make authentic, fresh, home-cooked food very easily accessible. And we're going to do that by making it super easy for someone to sell home-cooked food and equally make it super easy for people to order home-cooked food. And the three key uh, pillars around which we build it is through, our, through building customer trust in home-cooked food through our hygiene promise, uh, increasing our brand awareness and hand the market share, and ultimately, as we scale and grow the brand, internationalize it and scale the operations to support it. We've got a proven business model where we charge the chefs a certain joining fee in order for them to come start working with us. We provide them all of the support they need to uh, get onboarded. And then once they're onboarded, we charge them an ongoing transaction fee, which is a commission on uh, every food order that they receive. To the customer, in addition to the food cost, they pay us a service fee and a delivery fee. Um, so our journey so far, first half of 2021, we ran a very successful uh, crowdfunding campaign, which was funded through angel investors and through our engaged community of chefs and customers. We ended up raising £750,000 then, uh, which we used to build out a team polish the apps, go from a very basic app version to a more sort of sophisticated app, build out an e-commerce capable website, and ultimately uh, try and improve the business processes so that we are now at this stage today where we are again looking to raise and scale the business to the next level and become relevant in the national context. Um, we have a great team. So that's me and my co-founder Dinesh. Both of us have previously worked in uh, large uh, corporates in senior management roles. We're bringing on uh, new people onto the team and we've also had brand support over the years to uh, help us on the food and hygiene side of it. Uh, we've got a very uh, um, we've got a very good team in place who help us uh, run the operations on a day-to-day -day basis and uh, following the fundraise we'll be looking at covering off few key roles in customer service operations and in the tech team. Uh, so really, what's the ask today? The ask is to raise £750,000 at a pre-money valuation of £4 million. In the UK, we have uh, EIS Assurance already covered, and the money will be used, over half of the money will be used in supporting marketing and sales activities, and uh, the rest will be used to scale up our operations team, paying staff, and uh, building on our technology stack as well. Uh, these are the financial forecasts. So by 2027, we expect to have over 16,000 chefs on the platform with 10, 10 million customers and a GMV gross merchandising value of 54 million. So that's the promise here. And we believe we're on the right track. We've got the right team and uh, the right market at the right time. So the key takeaway is really uh, we're opening up a brand new segment in cooked food supply market which has got an, especially got an impetus, uh, impetus post-COVID. 
we're delivering quality, healthy, authentic home cooked food at a reasonable price point. So pound for pound, it does tend to be much cheaper than takeaway food. It's definitely a lot healthier than takeaway food. And ultimately, uh, we're acting as a platform or an enabler which uh, helps other people build their own business, people who otherwise wouldn't know where to start. And as a marketplace company, we think our early signs are similar to what the likes of Airbnb and Etsy have seen being a two-sided marketplace. So we, see, we think this is a fantastic opportunity for anyone to invest in a new product, which is coming up to a scale-up stage. Um, yeah, thank you, that's, that's my pitch. Thank you very much, I mean, I'm very pleased for what you're doing. And I mean, I'm a big fan of homemade food and I'm very happy you are promoting uh, this beautiful way how to eat and the, the cook ability to many. Huh? They can, people stay home and they actually, they can't sell what they would like to sell. And on the other hand, there are many people that would like to eat what these people can be capable to cook. So I'm, I'm very glad you're doing something similar. Uh, let me ask you, where these people are selling today? You already say something, but if your cook my grub does not exist, right? Where are these people going to sell their products? Uh, so typically what happens is uh, if uh, they're not on our platform, then a lot of the chefs, they have some WhatsApp groups, which they run as, you know, you know WhatsApp caps, the number of members on each group up to 250. So they have some WhatsApp groups. Either they themselves are delivering the food locally or they uh, ask the customer to come and collect from them. Um, in terms of order management, menu management, it's all done uh, very haphazardly. So typically the menus are advertised through images and uh, orders are just probably hand managed by, uh, hand -managed by the chefs. So uh, it's quite a disorganized market. And uh, with Cook My Grab, we have really organized this market through structuring out all the trainings for the chefs, the entire menu management, order management uh, piece, and then from the customer's perspective, that ease of ordering and getting that key delivery piece in as well. Yeah, this was my other question. I mean, it's pretty, it, it's pretty clear that you have to decide on one side uh, your uh, customers are the the people coming and buy. On the other side, chefs are also uh, probably the main one. Now, uh, when it comes to the chef, are you make sure uh, that these people they they don't uh, I mean, they really follow the rules? Yeah, sure. So basically, uh, it's it's a you know sort of seven seven part uh, seven step process for them to join uh, the platform. One of the steps is for them to basically be registered with their local authority so that uh, a council officer will come and visit their kitchen and make sure they're following the right uh, food hygiene processes. Another step also is for them to cook the food and send it to us so that one of our team can basically test, test the food or taste the food and uh, make sure that it's something which is uh, commercially viable or something which customers would like to eat and it's not made very haphazardly. Typically, in our experience, all of the chefs who come onto the platform, they are all extremely passionate cooks. You know, their food is unbelievable. They just need a little business support and a little technical support on the food hygiene side in order for them to run a successful business on our platform. I have to be honest, I really, I really like your idea. Very much, very much so. It, now, let me tell you, you are more, you are closer to the Airbnb for food than anything else, uh, which is the concept that you can build behind uh, and somehow can be taken and without any copy and paste being life. We should never copy and paste, but we should always improve. But Correct. yes, there are so many similarities. Now, um, in terms of uh, the quality, it's clear. How does a chef, uh, advertise uh, how can push sales using your platform? Uh, sure. So one of the things which we do during the chef's onboarding is we uh, once the menu is finalized, we help create certain uh, certain creative assets for them. So basic images which they can share in their own network 
whether it's on their WhatsApps, which they were previously using for everything. Uh, but this time now it just goes with a, a unique link, which is specific to each chef. Whenever any customer basically clicks on it, it goes directly to that chef's page, either in the app or the website and gives the customer an ability to order from them then and there. So every chef is provided with these digital assets to self-promote themselves. In addition to that, we run something known as a featured chef. So we feature two chefs on the platform every week, and we basically use some of the prime real estate on the app to advertise those particular chefs, their cuisines. In addition to that, we run some, you know, sort of regularly we do photo shoots with our chefs. Uh, we write blogs on their cooking style. Uh, if they're doing any particular world cuisine, we talk about that world cuisine, how these, what inspired the chefs to start their own food business, uh, what inspires them for their cooking. Sometimes someone's inspired by, you know, their mother, their grandmother, their, their village, that sort of a background. All of it plays a part in the food that they make. So we try and tell those stories uh, through our blog through uh, various pieces we do on them in our newsletters. And then ultimately we provide snippets of those to the chefs as well, so they can self-promote themselves in their own uh, networks. Unfortunately, we don't have so much time. There will be so so much to cover. But what about delivery? So for delivery, so we actually started off uh, initially as a local hot food delivery company. So everything was still pre-ordered, but we had our own drivers who would pick up and drop uh, the food from the chef within a five mile radius. Now, as we started scaling up, we realized that it was quite hard for us to run multiple such uh, local fleets without having tens of millions of pounds in funding. So we did a slight, a mini pivot there, uh, such that it's still the home chef, still the same customers, but the only thing that's changed now is their delivery mechanism. The chefs cook the food, they chill it down, put it in a nice insulated packaging with uh, ice packs so that the food remains uh, fresh for up to 48 hours. And then using priority next day delivery through the main, some of the key logistics companies in the UK, we're able to deliver it to the customer. So typically food arrives with the customer between 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., sometimes a bit later in the afternoon, but it's all fully cooked. All the customer needs to do is pop it in the microwave, three minutes, heat and eat. So it's not frozen, it's just chilled down and then sent. So that kind of maintains the freshness of the food and it's pretty much uh, ready to heat and eat for the customer. That's very interesting. What about how, how the clients or customers can, re, can review, I mean, if they're happy or not? Uh, sure. So as soon as an order is delivered and it's marked complete, uh, the sh customers can go in on the app or the website. On the app, they get a notification as well. And then they're able to go and individually review that specific chef for that particular order. Um, and then when other customers come on, they can basically see what the experience has been of uh, other customers when ordering from that particular chef. So it, uh, it works in a, we think that's kind of one of the most useful features we've built on the platform because it acts like a self-regulating self mechanism. So the chefs who are doing well, they get reviewed well, they get a higher star rating, so that then when customers come, they would normally filter by star ratings. They get access, they see who the top chefs are and order from them. Chefs who maybe aren't uh, that very good, they will, over a period of time, fall away and... Uh, potentially even stop trading on the platform or make some significant changes uh, after having taken that feedback from the customers and come back on the platform. But overwhelmingly uh, through the process which we've established, through the food, food tasting, monitoring the early orders from the chefs, we ensure that we set up each chef for success. And uh, you know there are hardly any cases where a chef is continuously making bad food. I think the overall rating for chefs on our platform is close to 4.7, 4.8 out of 5, which is uh, quite high. And it shows the, uh, the quality of the food, the passion and dedication with which these home chefs prepare the food. Uh, in terms of, this is your first round? This is our second round, actually. So the first round was in March 2021. 
uh, which we initially ran through uh, angel investment, and then we took it to uh, crowdfunding and basically funded it through there. So we raised about 750K uh, pounds then. Uh, we did do a, a small bridge round last year, but that was just to kind of help us tide over while we were pivoting the business from local hot food to nationwide chill deliveries. And now we are really looking at that pre-Series A kind of around uh, raising 750K again uh, at a higher valuation than last time. And this time the use of funds is purely to create that brand awareness, tell the stories of the chefs, uh, retell the stories of the customers who find the platform useful and uh, scale, scale up uh, the platform, increase the network of chefs, network of customers, and ultimately become a kind of a profitable uh, marketplace platform. Let me, this is my last unfortunately, but uh, the problem you would like to solve, I mean, if we can talk about problem, uh, is making the customers capable to eat what you believe is good, so cooking home. Uh, what what really, what is behind your this vision? I mean, what brings you here? Why you want to build something similar? Why do why are you making so much effort? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, there's there's a sort of personal story behind this. So, me and my wife were both busy professionals working, you know, sort of busy hours. Then we had children, we got even more busier. And what we found is uh, we didn't have enough time to cook fresh homemade meals for ourselves. And we, were, we, we used to end up ordering takeaway or frozen meals, which is, of course, not healthy for you. But equally, it's not tasty either. So you're having bad food and it's bad for health as well. So that's why when Dinesh and I met, uh, we shared a sort of common vision or a common goal. And because both of us are you know, at a similar stage in our lives. Uh, so we really wanted to uh, basically find these home chefs. Uh, the way the home chef market works is it's purely by word of mouth. There's no platform. So if you know a home chef and if somebody recommends uh, them to you, then that's the way you know. Otherwise, it's very hard to find them unless they are very proactive in advertising on social media. So really through Cook My Grub, we are, you know, first and foremost, we wanted to just create a directory or an index of uh, these home chefs. So everyone knew where they are, how to order from them. Then as we started uh, commercializing it and converting it into a business, we realized that all of the home chefs need to have insurance. They need to be trained, fully trained. Uh, they need to follow the food hygiene regulations. So we provided them with that. Uh, we, of course, created the e-commerce platform to enable transactions, uh, ability to view and order from menus, look at all the different options available to you. And then ultimately, as we started running the service, we realized that customers today uh, don't want to, you know, sort of leave their house and go and collect the food. They would like the food to be delivered to them. So that's why we kind of built out a nice delivery platform. And then underpinning all of that is a, a solid operations and customer support team, which makes sure that if there, are, if there are any blips at any point in the process, someone is always there to make sure that life is made easy, whether it's for the chefs or for the customers. Shabir, thank you so much for coming to Bistalk. I really wish you all the best, I hope, and I'm sure in Equity Match we can help you to raise your next round. And thank you again for coming. Uh, thanks for the invite, Max. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.